Maggie Hassan signed a bill this afternoon that could provide an economic boost. Governor Maggie Hassan has signed a bill into law that clears the way for developers to begin renovating the Balsams Resort in Dixville Notch. New our Granite State poll numbers show that the majority of New Hampshire residents approve of the job that Maggie Hassan is doing as governor. And governor Hassan is actually doing quite well. By a better than two to one margin, New Hampshire residents seem to think that Governor Maggie Hassan is doing a pretty good job. Oregon is now the third state in the nation to ban gay conversion therapy. Governor Kate Brown will sign a new law that prohibits mental health care providers from practicing the largely discredited practice. It is now illegal for social workers or licensed mental health professionals to try and change the sexual orientation of kids under the age of 18. Governor Terry McAuliffe signed new legislation to strengthen child daycare laws. Daycares that receive money from the state will have to undergo a fingerprint background check. The new law comes after several deaths at unlicensed daycares last year. Child care regulations to the Commonwealth will be stronger since Governor Terry McAuliffe signed some new legislation. Access to safe, quality care is good for our children. It's also good for our economy. The bill that I will be signing here today is tremendously important and moves Virginia forward. New transportation bill. Governor Peter Shumlin signed it Thursday. In addition to investing $116 million in Vermont's bridges, the bill lays out funding for more than a dozen other projects. We cannot grow jobs, we cannot have a strong economy, and we can't have a good quality of life without a strong transportation infrastructure.